Hello, hello, um, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, good evening. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. So uh, welcome to um, this video conference. So uh, tonight I will be your teacher in church of, of this um, course in pre-intermediate two. Um, and so, because I don't know you and you don't know me, we are going to do on a small presentation. Um, well, first of all, my name is Wilmer Antonio Granados. Um, I live here in Usulutan, I'm from El Salvador. And um, I've been working in English corporativos or um, around uh, one year. And also, um, in, in the case of my studies, I, I study in, in, in the Gerardo Barrios University. Uh, and also I'm taking a master degree in, in linguistics. And uh, what else? What else can I tell you guys? Uh, I, I love play guitar and I love play uh, piano too. Um, some things that I like um, is learning new, new um, languages. Uh, I've been studying French and um, so um, guys that, that that's me okay that's me that's Wilmer Granados. No, I, I would like to listen to you uh, introduce yourself and tell me what are your likes what you don't like or things that uh, you can think that are interesting to mention here in this video conference. Uh, so who is going to start? This is going to be the first one. Good, good evening. And my name is uh, Giovanni Choto. Uh, I work in uh, Industrias La Constancia uh, in Agua Cristal. I have uh, 41 years old. I have two children. I married. Happy married. <laughs> she listens okay, to me very, very, right very now. <laughs> okay, okay. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> uh, I live in Santa Did you Ana. Listen? <laughs> <laughs> I live in Santa Ana. Oh. Uh, okay. I am an industrial engineer. Oh. And I will be uh, learning to English uh, with you guys. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, <laughs> Mr. Giovanni. Welcome, welcome. So, um, thank you. Well, who's gonna be the second one? Good evening. Good evening, Miss. Uh, my name is. Eliana de Arreola. I live in Santa Ana. I work at a Catholic University, Unicaes. Um, I'm married. I have three children. Um, I like listen to music. I read. And I'm happy to be here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Miss. Uh, Miss Ileana. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, well, he's gonna be the next one. Uh, 
everybody is going to participate. So um, who is going to be the next one? Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Jimmy. My name is Jimmy Saldana. I live is in Sonsonate. I work in La Constancia, Agua Cristal. I have is 43 year old. I ha I married. I had three children. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Nice to meet you, Mr. Jimmy. Welcome. Um, well, who's going to be the next one? <laughs> Good evening. Okay. Si me escuchan? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. We can, uh, good we can evening, listen. everybody. My name is Laura de Peñate. I work at Unicae, Santa Ana. I live in Santa Ana, too. And I'm married. I'm a preschool teacher. But I work at Unicae, too, with, with university guys. I have a daughter. She's name is Mariana. She's three years old three and a half years old and I like the color blue I love the cats and what about me I love noventas pop music like oh, Timbiriche <laughs> and yeah, sí, Timbiriche menudo in Spanish not in English <laughs> oh. Okay, that, that's all. Okay, uh, welcome, Miss Laura, and nice to meet you. Um, okay, who's gonna be the next one? Me. <laughs> Hello, okay, Miss. Uh, Go ahead. Good evening, everyone. My name is Patricia Rea. I I am fifty four years old. I am married, and I. I have two boys. They are um, 17 and 16 years old. They are adopted. I am a doctor and I work in East Zacatecoluca, La Paz. I live in San Juan Nonualco, La Paz. And I grateful for this opportunity uh, for this course uh, to improve our language or, ah, I'm happy. I love the fish, the red color, um, music, um, listen music, um, mm, I love dance, real. Um, swimming. Okay, okay, very good. <laughs> okay, Thanks. very good. Very good. Welcome, Miss Patricia. And uh, well, Thanks. I hope you can learn a lot, a lot of things here uh, during this course. Um, welcome. Nice to meet you. Um, Thanks. Steve. Well, nice to meet you too. Um, who's going to be the next one? Okay, I'm seeing that uh, there are some of you that haven't introduced yourself. So, okay. Okay, uh, Miss. Good evening, <laughs> Good evening, Good evening. Miss. Good evening. Uh, nice Go ahead. Uh, my name is Liliana Ramirez. Uh, I work in Admission Cristiana Elin. Is Chur Elin. Uh, I'm married. I had one children. I have 34 years old. I live in Apopa City. I Playing violin, 
and love music. Okay, very good. Excellent, Miss uh, Liliana. So welcome to this um, class, to this course. And um, as I said yeah. before, I hope you can um, learn um, some things about English here. Okay? Thank so, you. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Okay. Um, nice well, to meet you too. Um, let's see. Who's, who's going to be the next one? Me, teacher. Uh, hello, Jacqueline. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You, you were in the, last, in the last course, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes, I so, am. Welcome again. So, good evening, everyone. My name is Jacqueline Garcia. I am 23 years old. I'm happy to be here. Uh, my favorite color is yellow and orange. I love the music in English and I'm be happy to learn English. And I and I and I and I excited for be this class. I am in a relationship. I not have children. <laughs> uh, it's all teacher. Nice to meet you, everyone. Okay, okay. Welcome, Miss uh, Jacqueline. Welcome. So, in uh, it's it's good to see you again here in pre intermediate too. Uh, well, who's gonna be the next one? There are some of you that haven't haven't um, participated yet. So um, mm -hmm. okay, who's gonna be the next one? Okay, guys, don't, don't be shy. I, I just want to listen to you um, and introduce yourself. And let me see who are the ones who haven't participated yet. Miss uh, Karina. Hello. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. So um, can you please just introduce yourself to everybody here? Okay. Hi, everyone. I am Fatima Karina. I have 18 years old. Um, I live in, in Ciudad Delgado. And I like watch an anime. Saludos. Just that. Okay, very good. Welcome, uh, Miss Karina. So um, let me see who else is missing. Uh, Mr. Kevin Lucero. Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, sir. Good uh, evening. My name is Kevin Lucero. I live in Santa Ana City. Uh, I work in Alas Doradas. Uh, I'm quality management. Um, I, I, I like the, color, the green color. Um, I'm 24 years old. Um, I would like to practice and learning more English. Okay, very good. Excellent, uh, Mr. Kevin, so welcome. And, and that's what we're going to do during this course. We're going to be practicing. And as you know, well, since the beginning, we're practicing because we are using uh, our English. Um, we want to try it in order to uh, speak in English. We want to try to be developing some exercises we're going to be um, uh, discussing, working in pairs, working in groups. Um, and you are going to have the opportunity to meet it, each other in the different uh, breakout rooms that I'm going to create uh, during the classes. And uh, so, well, I hope you can learn new vocabulary. You can learn uh, some grammar rules. You can learn some uh, pronunciation of some words. Uh, so. Uh, Basically, I, I hope you can learn something from this course, okay? So um, I assume that Mr. Um, Jesus, you haven't introduced yourself. So, Mr. 
Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. Uh, I am 23 years old. My favorite color is green. Uh, I love the music and football. Uh, I live in Quesaltepec de la Libertad. Uh, actuality, uh, I am business partner, commercial and logistic at La Constancia. And Okay, that's all. Okay, so uh, welcome, Mr. Jesus. Welcome. And nice to meet you. Um, Thank you. Thank you. The last one is, I think, Miss uh, Jocelyn. Jocelyn? Are you there? Jocelyn, Joanna? Hey. See, okay, so, um, well, what we're doing here, I, I saw that you uh recently join us, so what we're doing here is just introducing ourselves. Uh, you can say things that you like, things that you don't like, interesting facts about you, um, so you decide and then try to introduce to everybody. I mean, try to introduce you to everybody. Hey, uh, my name is Jocelyn Joanna Garcia Cañas. Ah, sí. Okay, so. Um, I am from uh, Lourdes Colón Libertad. Uh, I work uh, Grupo Miguel. Mm, my hobby is this, um, ir a la iglesia, ¿cómo puedo decir? No sé, ir go a la iglesia. Ajá, uh -huh. go, go to the church. Eh, I have a, one, ¿cómo se dice hija? Da daughter. I have girl. Eh, the night year. Okay. So listen. <laughs> okay, Miss. Okay, Miss. Uh, well, welcome to this course, and um, it's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I don't know if someone is missing here. Someone who hasn't part haven't participated yet. Um, I don't know if someone is here. Now I think that everybody has already introduced yourself. Okay, um, what we're going to be uh, doing during this video conference tonight is introduce um, introduce the thing that the thing that we're going to be developing during these um, sixteen weeks. Um, well, I seem that Maria Artiga, are you there? Maria Artiga. Hello. Can you hear me, Maria Artiga? Okay, no, I think not. Uh, well, I was telling you guys that um, during this course, we are going to be uh, working um, different uh, sessions. Uh, I don't know if you have the opportunity, if you have had the opportunity to uh, check the things that we are going to be developing in this uh, course. Uh, I, I thought, when I think that uh, everybody has received an email. So in the email, you are going to have um, your uh, username, you're going to have your password, and, and also um, they have already uh, Register you um, your account to the pre intermediate course uh, too. So there you are going to find different sessions. Uh, we have a schedule uh, for working those um, for working those those sessions. Just give me a second because I, I need to. Um, 
I need to share my screen, but just give me a second because I had to set some things here before. Let me see. Um, Uh, have you already joined to um, to the WhatsApp group? Do you receive the link? Yes, no. Yeah, just let yes, me know. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay, okay. Uh, for the rest, you can just tell me in the chat yes or not. Because if not, uh, you must be there because I'm going to be sharing some important information there. Okay. Uh, well, can you see my screen? No, it should. And um, what about now? Can you see my screen? Yes, no, please let me know. Hello, can you hear me guys? Yes, teacher, but yes, I teacher. think that your internet is a little bit slow, <laughs> maybe. Oh, could be, could be. Because you can hear, hear us. Okay, so could be, because, uh, well, here is raining. And I, <coughs> when it's rain, sometimes the internet is so bad. But um, well, if you have seen my my screen, uh, we are going to be working in five sections. Uh, these five five sections are uh, well the in, during the week number one this week and the, and the second one, we're going to be working in section one, two, and three. Okay, one, two, and three. Um, during these sessions, we're going to have some exercises for each one. Uh, there, you're going to find um, some, um, some videos, okay, some lessons. You're going to see the objectives. You're going to see the videos. And also, you are going to see some uh, exercises um, that are called knowledge check. Um, during this uh, knowledge check, you have to uh, solve the exercises uh, following the instructions for each one. Uh, this is an important part of, of taking this course. Why? Because um, during this course, the, the idea is to complete all the exercises that has been proposed for you. Um, that means uh, working um, in the listening part, working on uh, the questions that, that you have in this in, in each of the sections, uh, also watching the videos. Uh, what you can do here is if you have any question, um, well, you can ask me using the WhatsApp group and I will be um, answering as soon as possible there. Um, in each, each section, you are going to have a lot of lessons, okay? In this case, we have, uh, let me see. Uh, um, we have a one, two, three, four, five, five lessons, okay? Five lessons in this uh, section. So after we finish 
this uh, lesson, we're going to have another check at the end, as always. Um, and we have to answer all the all the exercises that that we are going to find there. So if you are answering all the exercises, you will you are going to be increasing uh, your rates. Um, in order to pass to the following course, you need at least an eight, okay, an eight. In this, uh, uh, in this case, is the eighty percent of, of of the whole exercises. Um, in this case, you are going to have that a uh, eighty percent if you complete those exercises. But what happened? So it, just imagine that uh, you have this exercise that is knowledge check one point four. Okay, we have some questions here. You are going to have a lot of um, uh, uh, opportunities in order to complete it. So if you fail in the first one, you can try it, try it again and again and again till you get the 10, okay? So um, if you answer these uh, questions and it shows an X or, or a red X, uh, that's mean that you fail answering that questions. But if you have a green check, so that's mean that you have complete um, this exercise. Uh, as I said before, at the end, you need the 80% of all the exercise, uh, all the exercises correct. I don't know if you, um, I'm getting what I'm saying. Uh, I'm, I'm letting you know, um, well, the idea is letting you know the, the, the requirements to complete this um, course, but I don't know if I'm uh, explaining in a good way. So please let me know. If not, I will try to do it in a different way. So is it clear what I'm saying, guys? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Oh. Okay, thank you. So um, during the course, you're going to have two exams, okay? The midterm and the final test. That's mean two exams. Um, the midterm is going to be in section number three. And we're going to solve it on Thursday of the second week. Just give me a second. I'm going to show you where is it. Here, section three, we're going to solve the myth. The myth there is uh, are some exercises. In this case, I think that are A, B, C, and D. Four exercises uh, just for the myth there. Okay, that's mean five questions um, that you are going to, to um, solve. In this case, it says five questions, but uh, those questions are exercises related to the topics that were discussed from section one and section number two. In the section number four, in the section number five, we're going to solve it. In the, well, in the case of the section number four, we're going to solve it in the width number three. And the section number five is going to be solved in the width number four. Uh, we're going to have time, um, in this case, for uh, completing all the exercises, um, because you have received a schedule like this. Uh, give me a second. Um, I have to cover some things here. Give me a second. Uh, um, Okay, I can show you this because there are some information that I can cover. I cannot cover. Uh, well, I will tell you the general information. Um, the schedule for this uh, video conference is going to be uh, taking place between Monday, 
to Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. We're going to have six, uh, 60 minutes uh, during each video conference. The attendance is so important. That's mean that you are going to be taking the classes um, every night from 8 to 9. And we're going to rest on Friday, Saturday and Sunday, those three days. And we're going to be back on Monday. Um, you have a, a, a limit uh, date in order to uh, complete um, the exercises and that's um, Thursday 21, uh, oh, I mean, October 21. So for October 21, you, you need to have at least the 80% of all the exercises the 80% of all the exercises, okay? So if you do not complete the 80% of the exercises that you are going to have during this platform, I mean, during these uh, weeks and in this platform, so you, are go you won't uh, be able to take the pre-intermediate number three, okay? So um, the video conference are going to be always on Zoom. So uh, another thing is, well, I already mentioned that you have joined the, the WhatsApp group. And in order to do it in your um, email, you have received a link. You can click on it and, uh, well, you can follow the instructions there in order to join uh, that WhatsApp group. Um, another interesting fact here is that you're going to be uh, in, in, in Jatub, so um, I will be posting all the uh, recordings from this course in YouTube, um, and you are going to find it there. I, I think that they are already already shared the code um, about the link that you will have on YouTube in order to. Uh, check the uh, videos that we're going to be, uh, well, that I will be recording and, and you're going to be um, working on uh, with the exercises that I will share to you. Um, well, that's all the information. I don't know if you have any question for me. Do you have any question? I do not have a question. Okay. I don't have a question. Oh, sure. we're, we're more. We're uh, 16 right now. <laughs> okay, welcome, guys. Uh, well, as everybody did this activity, I think that it's, uh, it good, it's good um, to listen to the rest of the members of this course. Um, so for that reason, I have to um, give you a space in order to introduce yourself. Uh, the guys that has already joined, I, I, I'm seeing that, um, let me see, Miss Claudia, Mr. Wilber, Mr. Uh, no, Mr. Jesus has already introduced yourself, Miss Mari, and Miss Diana. So you are the uh, ones that are, have already joined. Um, so we, you're going to introduce yourself. I don't know who's going to be the first one, uh, but what you have to do is just uh, say your name, okay? Uh, tell us some interesting facts about you. What are your likes? What you don't like? What are, what are the things that you like to do? Things like that, okay? Where do you live? So uh, you decide what information you want to share with us. Who is going to be the first one? Um, I am a, uh, pharmaceutic. Okay. And I work in a distributor of mm -hmm. medical 
of medicines. I like to watch TV and listen to music. And I also like to spend time with my family. Okay, very good. Excellent. Welcome, Miss Diana. And nice to meet you. So, um, the next one. Wilbur, Jocelyn, Mari. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Welcome. My, my name is, thanks. My name is Wilber Zavaleta. I live in Santa Ana. I work in Firkash. I like watching TV and listening to music. Okay, very good. Excellent, sir. So welcome to this uh, course. I hope you can learn a lot of things here from um, English Corporativo and you can learn some vocabulary. Um, let me see who else miss. Mari, so your turn. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Hi, my name is Mari Vanegas. I live in Lopasco. I am 25 years old. I like to eat pizza. My favorite color is yellow. Okay, very good, excellent. Um, and well, welcome to this course. And nice to meet you, to Miss uh, Mari. And the last one, I think, is Miss Jocelyn. Uh, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Mm, my name is Jocelyn Joana Garcia Cañas. I live in Lourdes, Colón, La Libertad. I work in Grupo Miguel uh, Assistant Administrative. Um, my favorite color is green. Um, Que otra cosa. Um, finish. That's all. Okay, very good. Excellent. And welcome, Miss Jocelyn. Well, guys, uh, so time to start with um, with the classes. And we're going to be, uh, first of all, watching a video that you are going to find there in, in the platform of English Corporativo. And I'm going to share to you in case you can you cannot listen the audio of this uh, video, you can find it there and you can watch it on YouTube if you want. Um, I'm going to share it, but uh, sometimes when I share it, you can see it in a good way because of the internet, because of the uh, lack that we have here. Uh, so just give me a second, I'm going to, Share it with you right now. Uh, we're going to, to go to uh, the section number one. There we're going to find uh, a lesson objective. And the lesson objective says, in this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Oh, sorry, I'm not sharing. we have the first uh, well this is the less the uh, lesson objective that i was reading before and this is the video that we have uh, on youtube about the conversation that we're going to listen uh, the topic of this video is i hardly ever exercise i hardly ever exercise uh, we are going to listen this and then we're going to be discussing. Please pay attention to it. No. 
sorry guys, yes, unjump it. Hello, we're now in section 6. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. Okay, we're going to start with it. Do you know what are um, adverbs of frequency? Okay, do you know what are adverbs of frequency? Guys, yes, no, please just. Uh, like uh, always, usually. Like this? Sometimes. Yes, th th those. Those are the, the adverbs of frequency. Um, like always, sometimes. Okay. So in this. Every day. Yes, exactly. Um, so. Actually. Okay, currently. Normally. Always. Often. Okay, very good. Those uh, words that you are um, using are called adverse of frequency. Well, in these conversations, we're going to find some of them. Uh, as you know, adverse of frequency um, are words that express as the name sets frequency of doing something. Uh, can you identify the adverb of frequencies that are used in this conversation. If you uh, find it, just please, uh, I mean, please just uh, type it in the chat box of this uh, video conference in Zoom. Okay, here we have the first one, always. Usually. Okay. Usually. Very good. Excellent. Five times a week. Okay. Very good. A lot. Often. Often. Hardly ever. Often. Okay. Often. Very good. Hardly. Hardly. Okay. And what else? Uh, usually, very good, Miss Patricia. Usually, that's all, right? Almost, teacher. Almost. Yeah, it's correct. Oh okay. no. Okay. Uh, let me see. Times a week. Yes, so five times a week. Yes. Okay, uh, in the case of almost, it, it is just um, an adverb that we can use to complement uh, the adverb of frequency. Uh, like when I say it, almost always, okay, almost always. It's like always, but not always. I don't know if you get it. Okay, so. Um, those are called adverse of frequencies. During this, this conversation, and the two speakers have used it in order to um, express ideas about um, different activities that, that they used to do. What are we going to do uh, right now? 
we're going to um, work in pairs. It's gonna be your first uh, exercise. Uh, we're gonna be working in pairs and we're going to create a conversation like this. Um, I will create some breakout rooms and you have to, um, if you want, uh, write it down in, in, in your notebook, if you have a notebook, in your cell phone, in your tablet, in, in your computer, so in, in the place you want. If you can, you can write it there. Uh, then after you have finished your uh, conversation, you are going to be um, developing a, a role play like a role play, it's called like a role play, um, during this uh, video conference. You're going to be uh, developing that conversation here in front to everybody, and we're going to finish with it, okay? So is it clear what I'm saying? Are clear the instructions that I, I um, already shared to you? Yes, no? Yes, teacher, it's clear. It's clear. Yes. Okay, what about the rest? Not clear for me, teacher. Not clear. Not okay, clear. just let me explain it. Explain Excuse to you. Uh, no, 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 don't worry. Okay, if something is not clear, just let me know. Okay, and I will try to explain it again. Um, we're going to be working in pairs right now. I will create breakout rooms. That means that you are going to have your own um, individually with a conference with uh, your couple. And you're going to be working in a conversation like this, like Mary Paul, Mary Paul, uh, Mary Paul. So you're going to develop something like that. In that conversation, you have to include um, adverbs of frequency. You can, um, Look for them in, in, in Google if you want and use it in your conversation. You can use questions if you want. You can uh, express um, different activities that you used to do during a day, during a week. So it doesn't matter. You, you decide the, 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 um, how it's going to be developed your conversation. So uh, after you have complete your conversation with your partner, um, you are going to come back to the general video conference and you are going to be uh, developing your um, conversation here in front to everybody. Is it clear now, Miss Patricia? Yes. Okay. Thanks. Very good. So, uh, well, I'm going to create a breakout room right now. Just give me one minute. In the case you um, have three uh, participants, I mean, if, if you're three, if you're trios, so um, please just try to adapt your conversation um, in this case in, in trios, okay? Well, so. I will send right now an invitation. Please just click on a uh, join and you are going to go to uh, the breakout rooms. And ah, so important, you are going to have just uh, six minutes, okay? Six minutes in order to complete the conversation. Then you are going to be back. See you in a moment.
Okay, um, here uh, we have two Mr. Uh, Saldaña, Ms. Garcia, and Ms. Vanegas. So, uh, can you listen to me? So, open your microphone and start working. Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. very good. Yes. Okay, okay so just open uh, your uh, microphones and, and start working. Safety. Wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. Day about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free my free time. Uh, hi, Jacqueline. I'm fine. Uh, no le hago yo la pregunta, ¿verdad? Me la haría usted, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Teacher, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, can I help you with, uh, como digo, casi no te he visto? Uh, I haven't seen you, like. Como el casi no te he visto, no, no sé cómo estructurarlo, o, o casi no te veo. Hello. Teacher. Hello, yes, tell me. Ya. Yeah. Como digo, casi no, casi no te veo. Uh, well. Tiempo sin verte. Tiempo sin verte. Oh, ok. Um, in this case. Y, bueno, en este, en este caso, eh, ustedes lo podrían utilizar como long time no see, pero en este caso no sería un adverbio. El adverbio este que estaría como correcto es el, eh, el de casi, que en este caso es eh, almost. Ok, porque este long time no see o long time without seeing you um, no viene siendo un adverbio de frecuencia. Sí, entonces puedo poner casi no te veo, pondría almost y, y qué más dicho. I almost pues, don't ah. see you. I almost don't see you. Uh, can not see you. Can, I almost can don't see you. Can not. Can not. Mm -hmm. mm. I almost can not see, see you. See you. Mm -hmm. Un punto y you really, you are, si yo digo teacher, te veo más delgado, puedo decir, I, I, I see you fit. I, I see you slim. Mm. Mm -hmm. Sí. La, vaya, lo, lo que sucede, lo que sucede con, con esto, chicos, es que vaya, eh, la idea es, no sé si ustedes ya buscaron los adverbios de frecuencia en yeah. internet. Sí. Sí. Vaya, en este caso, ustedes pueden ir este, a los adverbios de frecuencia. Eh, y esos adverbios de frecuencia intenten adaptarlos con oraciones en inglés. Eh, bueno, por ejemplo, aquí tenemos eh, el Harley, que viene siendo casi como el, el, el almost, que es como para, para cuando nosotros este, queremos eh, decir o, o expresar que una situación eh, no se desarrolla con, con frecuencia, 
o que X uh -huh. actividad no se desarrolla con frecuencia, o, o es casi escasa la frecuencia con la que se realiza. El hard. Uh -huh. y, ajá. y luego tenemos por ahí este, una lista bueno, bastante grande eh, uh -huh. de, de adverbios este, de, de frecuencia eh, que nosotros pues podemos, podemos hacer uso. Les voy a pasar un link. Hola. Ya, yeah, sí, ya. Yeah. Bueno, les voy a pasar un link eh, de una imagen. Vamos a ver si me permite aquí. Uh, déjenme ver si, si puedo compartírselas. Aquí les comparto yo en este enlace eh, los adverbios de frecuencia. Ahí pueden encontrar información también en español. Eh, mm. En la cual aparecen este, el significado, aparece eh, el adverbio de frecuencia y más abajo aparece una imagen en color verde que es de Woodward um, donde se utilizan eh, los adverbios de frecuencias generalmente por eh, porcentaje. Cuando es un 100%, cuando es un 90, 80, 70, 50, 30, 10, 5 y 0%. Eh, y a la par les aparecen algunas oraciones, como I always study after class. Sería como decir, yo siempre estudio después de clase. Eso es, un siempre, eh, eso es algo que yo realizo siempre. ¿okay? Eso significa que como es, lo estoy realizando siempre, eso hay 100% de seguridad de que yo lo hago después de clase. Right. Eh, si yo digo, por ejemplo, I usually walk to work, eh, ahí sería un 90%. ¿Por qué? Porque estoy diciendo, eh, yo usualmente camino al trabajo. Camino al trabajo. Ajá, pero ¿qué sucede con el usually? En este que, usually. Como no es ah, no, 100% puede, puede cambiar. Exactamente. Como no es 100%, puede cambiar. Puede ser que el siguiente día... Este, yo viajé en un autobús o viajé en, este, eh, en carro. ¿okay? Y así, así van funcionando lo que son los uh, adverbios así. de frecuencia. ¿Sí? Así que ahí les okay, dejo yo ese, ese enlace. Muchas gracias. Teacher. Bueno. Okay. Hello, okay. teacher. Hello. Hello. All conversation is good. <laughs> finish. Oh, okay. You, you already finished. Very good. Excellent. So uh, we're going to be back in, in the general video conference in, uh, I think, uh, one minute. And uh, I will give you some instructions about this activity. Okay. So, um, Just let me visit the rest of the breakout rooms and, and, and we're going to be back, okay? Okay. So, va, digamos, usted la primera y yo la segunda. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, va. Uh, what, was that the first person is you? Me, okay. Yes. And what do you usually do you, what do you usually do after English class? After English class, I always drink a coffee and eat sweet bread. How about you? I usually take a shower and I prepare to go to the bed. Oh, y ahí do, pudiera ser la pregunta. Uh -huh. Do you hardly ever go to the bed at nine o'clock? Uh -huh. And the another person can say. Yes. Uh-huh. I usually or I or always uh, I'm always go to bed go to early. Bed. Mm -hmm. I always I always I always go, go to, the, to the bed.
Okay, um, hello. I think that everybody is back. So tell me, do you finish or not? I, I, I saw that some of you have already finished, but I would like to know about the rest. Um, do you finish, yes or not? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good, thank yes. you. Okay, very good, excellent. And what about the rest? Okay, do you complete it? Do you finish? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. No. Okay, some of you are yes, telling teacher. me that no. Okay, Mr. Jesus, very good, excellent. Uh, well, guys, uh, the thing is the time's running, uh, the time is running, and, and as you know, uh, we have nine uh, o'clock right now. So, it, what's going to happen right now is that we are going to be um, working on this exercise tomorrow uh, at eight before starting the class. Um, if you want, you can use the WhatsApp group in order to contact the, the other person that you are working with and try to uh, solve some things that maybe could be like, uh, or that you haven't included or, or you didn't include uh, in your conversation or maybe some things you have to fix uh, in your conversation and uh, be ready for tomorrow. We're going to be um, working on this activity at eight o'clock. So uh, I need you to be uh, very punctual because uh, I always start the video conference at, uh, at eight o'clock. Uh, um, sometimes at some minutes before that, but um, it's important if you are going to be taking this course uh, to be punctual uh, during this. Something that I didn't mention, I forgot to mention here is that in the case of the platform, and, and sorry for this because I, I, I forgot. Um, in the case of the platform, you have the sections, section one, section two, section three, section four, and section five. Uh, something that we need to do is take um, the, the exams, take the, the, the exercises that we have there, the equations that we have there, uh, by your own. That's mean that you can work at your own rhythm. If you want to finish the course in two weeks, it's okay. Don't worry, you can do it. But remember to be attending the video conference. Okay, so um, in this case, you are going to have like, if you have time, you can have more time later in order to uh, use it for different purposes. Uh, that means if you want to complete it, the whole course in two weeks, it doesn't matter, okay? That's one of the things that Inglés Corporativo uh, always remember because um, it, it's so important uh, because the idea is that you can practice the topics that uh, are posted there that, that have, uh, we have already shared there and use it during the video conference. Okay, all the information. That's me. Please take first the class in the platform and then take the video conference. Because um, after you have been working on the exercises, you can ask some questions or doubts that could be like uh, about the uh, videos, about the exercises. And we're going to be solving a we want to try to solve it here in this uh, class, in this space that we have. Uh, because um, if everyone can, be, before to start class, everyone can uh, tell me, hey, teacher, uh, I have some problems solving the exercise uh, X, okay, or the exercise Y. So uh, you can tell me here, and we're going to try to solve it. So that's um, up to you. If you want to finish the course in two weeks, you can do it in the platform. The video conference are going to be 
16 uh, video conference and, and that's been from Monday to Thursday, uh, 16 days, okay? So uh, what I'm referring to is the exercises that you have in the platform. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, teacher. Yes, Mr. Giovanni? Yes. The last is, uh, no, no, I don't understand the last, the last part. Okay, um, what I was referring to is that you can complete the exercises of the platform in two weeks, if you want, that, that's okay. up to you, that's up to you, okay, that's up to you. Okay. So uh, maybe could, you can take it in three weeks, like uh, one week and a half, so it doesn't matter, it's up to you. Um, and later you can be attending the video conference each night uh, till you complete the 16 video conferences. Okay, that's mean the si okay. 16 video video uh, classes here. Okay, so that, that's what okay. I'm referring to. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, that's been all for tonight, guys. Um, well, tomorrow we're going to be working on this exercise, on this video, uh, I mean, on this conversation, and please be ready. Uh, see you, bye-bye, and blessings for all of you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank, Thank you so much. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you.